intermediate. The general test standard at this level should be a demonstration of a consistent, accurate pattern and turn placement, good balance, clean stroke execution, and a heightened awareness of rhythmic body movement. The skater should also demonstrate the ability to maintain proper upper body position and alignment while executing checking or cross-checking movements, as well as during sustained or extended steps. Intermediate, pattern four, backward double three turns. The primary focus is edge quality and the secondary focus is extension. In this move, the skater must develop the back outside double three turns in a free skating manner, which helps prepare for the power double three turns at the senior level. Note the placement of the backward three turn is on the top of the lobe. This placement of the turn facilitates better edge depth. Both the back outside and back inside double threes are skated on the continuous axis of the arena and commence with a powerful back crossover. Notice this skater demonstrates a steady gliding edge with no major subcurves. Intermediate moves, the intermediate spiral sequence. Extension and edge quality are the two focuses for this move. Standards and expectations. Edge control and flow in accordance with pattern. Free leg must be hip level or higher during spirals. Awareness of extension of all body lines. Full ice coverage is a must. This new move has a maximum of seven optional introductory steps. The steps skated on the end pattern are optional. And please remember to maintain a safe environment while practicing back spirals on a crowded session. Intermediate pattern five, brackets in the field, forward outside to back inside, and forward inside to back outside. The primary focus is edge quality. This move develops all the bracket actions learned in figure skating, which diversifies the skater's turn repertoire. They also become a foundation builder for the bracket three brackets and power rockers in subsequent moves in the field. Brackets teach the skater to rotate against the skating circle and control edges and body positions before and after turns. The action of shoulders against hips in bracket turns requires the head and upper body to remain solidly over the skating side. The skater must sustain balance and control before each bracket in order to achieve turn placement on the top of each arc. The skater has now completed the forward outside to the back inside brackets.
He continues by skating the left forward inside bracket, followed by the right back outside bracket. His arms must remain level and the free foot is held close in relationship to the skating foot. The skater now starts the right forward inside bracket, followed by the left back outside bracket. Intermediate moves, forward twizzles, turn execution and continuous flow are the two focuses of this move. Standards and expectations, static skating leg slash knee is required, either bent or straight during the twizzle. Skated with a continuous flow. Strong core and body alignment are needed. Intermediate Pattern 6, Inside Slide Chasse Pattern. The primary focus is edge quality, and the secondary focus is extension. This move continues the development of methods to attain speed and power without the use of crossover stroking. This skater demonstrates a stylish body alignment over the skating side. There is a noticeable ripping sound made by strong edges during these chassés. <laughs> 